Before using the analytical balance, make sure you log in. Zero the balance. Weigh a 125 milliliter Erlenmeyer flask with a rubber septum obtained from the stockroom on an analytical balance. Record the mass. When finished, close the door, zero the balance, and sign out. Obtain about three to four milliliters of the unknown, which is assigned to you by your instructor. Pour this into the flask and place the septum over the top. Place a small piece of disposable needle through the puncture in the septum to allow the air and excess vapor to escape when the flask is heated. Clamp the flask at an angle so that you can see the liquid collect at the bottom. Make sure to use longer clamps if possible. Place the flask up to its neck in a large beaker, about half to three quarters full of water. See the illustration in the lab manual. Make sure to secure the clamps tightly. Add three to four boiling chips to the water in the beaker. Keep boiling uh, until all the liquid in the flask has disappeared. This should take approximately 15 minutes. Continue to boil for, for an additional two minutes after this point. When the liquid phase of the unknown has been gone for two minutes, stop heating and carefully remove the flask from the beaker of hot water. Cool the flask under a stream of cool tap water to condense the vapor in the flask. The unknown will condense at a perceptible rate. Remove the capillary. Dry the outside of the flask well with a paper towel, making sure that you also dry around the edges of the septum. You will return to the balance room to reweigh the flask, septum, and condensed liquid. The condensed liquid occupies a much smaller volume than that of the flask, so the weight of the air is essentially the same as that in the first weighing. Therefore, the mass of the condensed liquid is found by the difference between the mass of the empty flask and the septum and the mass of the flask, septum, and condensed liquid. Record the barometric pressure. Either Google it or use the barometer in the balance room. Record the temperature to which the flask was heated. The boiling point of water at the prevailing bar barometric pressure may be obtained from the CRC Handbook of Chemistry and Physics. Now fill the flask with water. Make sure to dry the outside of the flask with the paper towel. Weigh the flask, septum, and water on a properly zero triple beam balance. For example, this weighs 238.26 grams. You cannot use an analytical balance for this step because the mass will exceed the capacity of the balance and may damage it. Record the mass of the apparatus plus water 
and the temperature of the water in your notebook. Find the density of water at this temperature from Appendix A in the back of the lab, ma lab manual and calculate the volume the flask holds. Repeat the above procedure with the same unknown so that you have two determinations of the molecular weight of the unknown. Calculate the molecular weight of the unknown using the formula supplied in the lab manual. This value is approximate, mainly because the vapor has been formed just above the boiling point of the liquid, a range where non-ideal behavior is often observed and the formula is derived for an ideal gas. Report the average of your two determinations of the molecular weight of the unknown.